I do pick color to skin tone, but I always demonstrate with a really neutral color as for lips, really a lip color, um, which is close to a, a, a lip shade. She likes light pink, happens to be just a real neutral pink color. Um, but people can bring in the colors that they like. In fact, a really nice tip is if you try your lip colors on the end of your fingertip, whatever color your fingertip is will be the color it'll be on your lip. Um, brow colors are never chosen to hair color. It's always chosen to skin tone. And that would be 50% lighter when it fades. So when you do your second application, you'll know how much darker you want it. So a lot of people feel like, oh, that might be a little bit too dark. Well, that'll be 50% lighter um, after a week. Okay, so what I'm doing is I just take a pencil and I topically apply the, the makeup just so I can show how they would look and where I would put it uh, to give them an idea of how they'd look with permanent makeup and how dark it would be when they leave. And this, this just gives you an idea that you can tell me if you want it lighter or darker. And even though eyebrows right now are a fad to be bigger, it's better to follow your natural brow line. You can always make them you know, larger yourself. You can have your lips any color you want, really, but um, I just don't do real purple. Or, or browns because that looks too much like chocolate milk. This is just a real natural pink color. That'll show you how much of your lip will be utilized. And here you are, washing over. You don't have contacts on, do you? I do not. Okay, so close your eye. Okay, so I'm just going to pull up on your eyeliner, your eyelid. Just don't feel tickly. And look all the way back at your brain. And the problem with doing this every day daily like this, when you blink, it wants to get messy. That's the nice thing about having it permanent, is it won't smear. Now you can close your eye. We did her <laughs> eyeliner in 2011 really, really light. And so now this is showing her how she would look having it uh, darker. Straight up. I enhanced the makeup she had on today, just to give her an idea how she would look with um, permanent makeup and the, the key is is that I don't tattoo on top of the eyelid I do it from the underneath so that when she closes her eye you don't see a line it's all done from along the lash line and underneath so what it does is it makes your eyes look brighter and your lashes look thicker but you'll never have a line that'll look like you had an unsteady hand putting your makeup on oh really when I do your when, when you have your eyebrows done uh, that's the longest healing period. It takes a week. And the first four days you look perfectly fine and then they get flaky. And you can't pick, peel, or force exfoliate. You just basically have to step away from the mirror and leave them alone. I always tell everybody you can't mess up your eyes, you can't mess up your lips. Um, you can wear mascara the next day on your eyeliner if you buy a new tube. The only thing you can't do is put like liquid eyeliner or anything over it for three days. Your lips, you can use chapstick or um, Isoball, or you can moisturize them as many times as you want. They'll feel slightly chapped, but there's virtually no real downtime. But because brows are skin, more like a body tattoo, you can't go and like sleep on your tails, lean on them. You really have to babysit them, more or less. But you can get them wet underneath the shower, you can pretty much do anything you want except wipe them with a towel, um, scrub them, scratch them. You just have to pretty much leave them alone. How long between my first 
application. Application, application you, my second. You have to wait three weeks. Anytime after three weeks, you can come back. And I have a lot of tourists, you know, that they can't come back for three to six months. But if you're local and you can come back, it's anytime after three weeks. And I have a nurse who numbs the lips so you won't feel anything. Uh, they, they give you shots so that it's like a lidocaine, so you won't. And I use cream topical for your eyes and brows but you do get injections for your lips. If you get fever blisters, we call in a prescription of uh, acyclovir so you won't um, break out.